2022 grade 10 Kaylee math contest questions 1 through 10 question number 1 the expression 2 plus 0 times 2 squared is so 2 plus 0 times 2 squared so that's 2 plus 0 times 4 and then 0 times 4 of course is 0 so then we just have 2 and therefore number 1 the answer is B question number 2 the integer 119 is a multiple of well it's not a multiple of 2 because only even numbers are a multiple of 2 it's not a multiple of 5 because multiples of 5 end in either 0 or 5 so you can immediately eliminate those and then you can just take your calculator and see if 119 is divisible by 3, and it is not. But it is divisible by 7, because 119 is equal to 7 times 17. So there you go. 7, the answer is D. Question number 3. Which of the following fractions has the greatest value? If we convert them to decimals, it'll be a little bit easier. This is 0 0.3. This is approximately 0 0.57, 0 0.21, 0 0.67, and 0 0.5. And therefore, you can easily now tell that among these, the biggest one is this one. So number three, the answer is D. Question number four. The pattern of shapes is repeated to form the sequence, the 20-second shape in the sequences. So... This pattern, which is a triangle, square, heart, diamond, and circle. So it's repeated. Every five, it just keeps on repeating in the same way. So five, 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 and five. And then we've got the next two. So the first five will be these guys, right? So will the next five, so will the next five, and so will the next five. So those ones are easy. And then the pattern starts again with the triangle and the square. So this is the 21st, and this is the 22nd shape. So the 22nd shape is a square, and that is choice A. Question number five, the expression is equal to. So this expression, each of these is five times five, right? Just be careful that you don't make any mistakes. Like sometimes they might trick you and put a plus sign instead of a multiplication sign. They're all 5 times 5, so they're all 25. And there's 5 of those guys. And that's it. And then you just have to add them. Well, 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 125. So E is the answer to number 5. Question number six. Yai Hana walks for 10 minutes. A graph of her elevation in meters versus time. In minutes is shown the length of the time for which she was walking uphill is. Okay, so she's walking, uh, if, she, if she is walking uphill, her elevation will increase. And therefore, that is that period and that period. Every other period, she's either walking flat or walking downhill. So the first elevation is from 0 to 3 minutes, right? Because that's a 3. So that's a 3-minute period. And the second elevation is from 8 to 10. So that's another 2 minutes. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Five minutes uh, is the duration that she's walking uphill. So number six, the answer is eight. Question number seven, points A through F are evenly spaced around the circle with center O, the measure of angle AOC. AOC, that angle. Okay, well, if they're evenly spaced, right, that means that all of these internal angles will be equal. And the entire circle has uh, all the way around 360 degrees. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. So you divide by 6, and therefore each of those is uh, 60 degrees. So that means this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and so on. Well, AOC, that is from here to here to here. And therefore, that's 2 times 60, which is 120, this whole angle. 
So 120 is the answer, and therefore 7 is D. A rectangle has positive integer side lengths and an area of 24. The perimeter of the rectangle cannot be. Well, if you have a rectangle, the sides can be labeled as A and B, and therefore the area is A times B, and they're saying that's 24. Well, let's see what kind of cases we can get here. Uh, well, the perimeter, therefore, would be 2 times A plus B. Okay. Well, you can have either 1 times 24 for A and B, and that would make the perimeter uh, 50. You can have 2 and 12. That's another choice for A and B, and that would make the perimeter 28. Uh, 14 times 2, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have 3 and 8. That would make the perimeter 22. 4 and 6. And that would make the perimeter 20. And I think that's it because then you'll just get the same thing. So let's see here. 50 is there. 28 is there. 22 is there. And 20. So it cannot be, I guess the only answer choice left is 36. So E, number 8. Number 9. The operation A symbol B is defined as A plus B over A minus B. For example, 2 symbol 3 is 2 plus 3 over 2 minus 3. If 3 symbol B is negative 4, what is the value of B? Okay, so I guess we just use that operation. So 3 symbol B would be 3 plus B over 3 minus B. And they're saying that's equal to negative 4. So I guess we just have to solve that. Uh, 3 plus B, bring the 3 minus B upstairs so that's going to be minus 12 plus 4b so that's going to be 15 is equal to 3b and therefore b is equal to 5 and therefore number 9 the answer is a question number 10 if x is 20 percent of y and x is 50 percent of z then what percentage of z is y Okay, I think the, the easiest way to do this is just to use some numbers, otherwise it gets very abstract. So let's, I'm going to say that y is equal to 100. And therefore, if x is 20% of y, then x is 20. Correct? And therefore, x is 50% of z. So x is basically half of z. So that would mean that z is 40. And now they're saying, what percentage of z, what percentage is z of y okay i gotta read that carefully what percentage is z of y okay well you're comparing 40 to 100 z is 40 percent of y so that's it then as you can see when you use numbers it makes it much easier than using letters so number 10 the answer is d